Safety is the first priority when setting up your Fanimation fan remote. Always turn off power to the fan at the circuit breaker before beginning any installation work. Next, install the receiver in the hanger bracket and connect the wires according to your manual. The wiring diagram shows the proper connections between the AC supply, receiver, and ceiling fan. If your wire colors differ from the manual, consult a qualified electrician. After completing the wiring installation, restore electrical power to the fan by turning the circuit breaker back on. If your model has dip switches, you need to configure them properly. Locate the dip switches on both the remote control and the receiver unit. Use a small screwdriver to match the switch positions on both devices. Avoid setting all switches to the up position, as this is the factory default and may cause interference. Now it's time to pair the remote with your fan. Within 60 seconds of restoring power, press and hold the set or stop button on the remote for five to 10 seconds. This button is usually located on the back of the remote or in the battery compartment. You may need a pen or paper clip to press it. Look for confirmation that pairing was successful. This may be a blinking LED light on the fan or an audible beep. Finally, test all fan functions, including speed control, lighting, and reverse direction to ensure everything is working properly. When your Fanimation remote stops working, follow this systematic troubleshooting approach to identify and fix the problem. Start with the most common issues. First, replace the remote batteries with fresh ones, ensuring correct polarity. Check that the fan has power by verifying the circuit breaker and wall switch are on. If basic checks don't solve the issue, try resyncing the remote. Turn off power at the circuit breaker, then restore it. Within 60 seconds, press and hold the set or stop button on the remote for 5 to 10 seconds. For dip switch problems, turn off power and access the receiver unit. Check that the dip switches on both the remote and receiver are set to identical positions. Avoid setting all switches to the up position. For smart fan troubleshooting with FanSync, verify the receiver is properly installed and powered. Enable Bluetooth on your device and try deleting and re-adding the device in the FanSync app. For persistent issues, consider radio frequency interference from other devices. Common sources include power lines, electric motors, and wireless devices. If interference is suspected, try relocating interfering devices or consult an electrician. As a final troubleshooting step, try resetting the remote. Turn off the unit from the remote, press the off button on the fan for 10 seconds, wait 20 seconds, then turn the fan back on from the remote. Following this systematic troubleshooting approach will resolve most Fanimation remote issues. Start with basic checks and progress through each step until the problem is solved.